So welcome in everybody to our post-game show of Maryland's exhibition game against Fayetteville State. First thing to be said, look, it's an exhibition game and you would expect Maryland to win easy, wore the other team down. But what did I like as to what I saw? Well, the first thing that I was really, really impressed with was Julius Reese, Julian Reese, the freshman from St. Francis, whose sister Angel Reese plays for the women's basketball team. And uh, Julian Reese was six for 10 from the field really smooth just a smooth player like he's been out there a long time uh greatly impressed by his game uh fats russell fats russell is just ferocious on defense he had uh, he had 10 points i think he had a long three uh, a couple steals only two turnovers he did play uh half the game nobody really played much more than half the game except uh, dante scott uh, but Overall, I love the way Fats played. Very aggressive on defense. Uh, just just a leader, a leader on the court. Eric Ayala, not a great day for him. Uh, two for 11 from the field, wound up with nine points. You have to understand, Maryland, you know, it took a while to get used to the game. And they were like uh, helter-skelter, per se. And uh, eventually, both the Turgeon played everybody. But he played two, two fives, and both fives fared well. Caduce Wahab, what else do you have to say except five for five from the field? Kind of like the kind of game we would expect from six rebounds, uh, no blocks, 18 minutes. Pretty impressive. Uh, everybody's plus minus was strong. James Graham, six points and a long three toward the end of the game. Uh, Xavier Green, a little disappointed to tell you the truth. 16 minutes, uh, only had two points. Uh, did he have a couple turnovers, if I remember? Yes, he did. Just wasn't with it today. Pablo Zuba, a kid from Arizona State, pretty aggressive guy. I thought he played okay. It's so tough to tell in these games. It, it really is. But Hakeem Hart, four for five, to play 24 minutes. Obviously, Turge likes him in the rotation. Uh, Dante Scott, we talked about. Marcus Stockery came off the bench, only played six minutes. But wound up with five points and a nice three. I like the breakaways. I like the way they play defense. Toward the end of the first half, they had a switching defense to me that was pretty effective that we haven't seen much of, where everybody switched on every play. Might be something Danny Manning brought in. So overall, the Terp shot 57.1% um, from the free throw line and from the field. They were, let me see. Uh, 32 for 58 from the field, a nine for 23 from the three point line and 16 for 21, which is actually 69% in the first half, hundred percent in the second half, 76% overall, 55% field goal percentage and uh, three point field goal percentage was 39, 89 to 40. Uh, their first test comes Tuesday against Quinnipiac. And then GW on Thursday, we'll know a lot more about the team after those two games. But the best news about this game, nobody got hurt. Everybody got a chance to play. They played hard. They played tough, just like every Mark Turgeon team does. Uh, again, you have to assess who you're playing and what it meant. But at the end of the day, uh, I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised, but especially with Julian Reese. These other, I mean, we knew what Caduce Wahab could do. We knew what Fats Russell could do. Eric Ayala was a little off tonight. And Dante Scott uh, kind of get used to his power forward, I mean, his point forward position. Uh, five rebounds, two assists. I thought he played a, a pretty heady game. Only had six points. So, but this game was never about who scored or whatever. Just about the team playing together, playing together well. For It's funny for uh, Fayetteville State. Joshua Wiggins, that's Aaron Wiggins, younger brother, played, uh, played, got in at the end of the game, played a total of three minutes and got uh, six points. He played well. Uh, they had a long, a uh, couple of long shooters who did well. Uh, Jess Worthy hit three threes and uh, Jalen Seegers, but uh, this game was all Maryland and that will wrap it. A few more things. Oh, Ian Martinez. Ian Martinez, what do you wind up with? Five points, 
he fired up, I'm telling you, he fired up three threes in such succession. It was unbelievable. Hit one of them, a couple free throws. I thought he was aggressive, drove to the hole, missed a couple stuffs, but uh, I liked his game. And then one part of the first half, Fats Russell had a steal, a tray, and then a breakaway three-point play. Uh, Wahab, uh, you know, I couldn't tell how assertive he was. You know, you got to be assertive in the Big Ten. Uh, he really just used his strength and his positioning to score easily. And uh, for me, MVP of the day, Julian Reese from St. Francis. Final score, Maryland 89 and Fayetteville State 40. Exhibition game. Can't put it you put it in the win column, but not in the official record. But it uh, looks like they had uh, – it was a nice crowd there. Not great, but about what you would expect for an exhibition game. Thanks, everybody, for listening. This is the wrap-up I promised you, and uh, now it's on to Penn State. Have a great night, everyone.